Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with one more video, and I'm Akshay, and you are watching Akshay Hunger Ki YouTube channel. And uh, today we have one of my super senior Abhishekta, uh, since uh, she has been working at IBM since from past two years. And today in this video, guys, we'll be covering everything regarding IBM management and how was her experience at IBM. And in regarding, we have a bunch of questions I will be asking to Abhishekta, and uh, she will be ask, uh, answering according to her experience since from last two years. And uh, without wasting much time, let's start to talk with uh, Abhishekta. Uh, hi, Abhi. Welcome to the channel again. Hi, Akshay. How are you? Uh, we are doing great, Abhi. So I think uh, we won't be wasting much of time. Uh, our audience are, uh, you know, waiting to get uh, your experience at IBM. So I'll be asking some questions to you. You just answer according to them. So yeah, okay. how was how was your experience at IBM? Um. Uh, so it will be two years in a month. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, I have been working from home for the past one and a half year. I've just uh, moved to Bangalore like four months ago, three, four months ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. And from then I've started working hybrid. Mm -hmm. uh, it was work from home. It was very good. You okay. know, uh, overall experience uh, coming here as a fresher. Mm -hmm. uh, induction was good. Yeah. It was uh, Induction was for 10 days. We had induction okay. for 10 mm -hmm. days. Okay. 10 complete days, you know. Uh, they have habituated us to, you know, corporate names mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. corporate uh, words, okay. uh, the vocabulary and all. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in college, we used to call everyone sir or ma'am. Okay. Here, they have uh, trained us not to call everybody okay. sir or ma'am ma okay. Yeah, during yeah. the induction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that was great. And joining as a fresher, it was mm -hmm. a great experience. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody helped, you know. You when you join as a fresher, you don't know what is going on. When you, mm -hmm. you when you put when you put into a project, mm -hmm. you don't know uh, what is going on. What is that project? You have to start understanding from yeah. the beginning. Mm -hmm. In that regard, uh, I I would say I was very lucky, mm -hmm. and I am I still am because I got a very supportive manager, mm -hmm. very supportive uh, mm -hmm. colleagues, teammates, okay. team leads, and all. Yeah. Great. So I have queried from my audience that uh, how is uh, reallocation policy at IBM? Can you talk on that? Yes. So when you initially join uh, as a graduate hire, <laughs> so there, you will be asked three preferences uh, or okay. your top three location preferences. Mm -hmm. But project uh, you will be put into the locations according mm -hmm. to the available project. Yes. yes. You know when you suppose for example your uh, pre uh, preference is Bangalore, mm -hmm. and if they can't find a project in Bangalore, they'll go for another location. Yeah. It's like, you know, based yeah. upon requirement, uh, they're going to allocate. Uh -huh. Correct, correct. Um, so, and maybe, you know, you don't like the location. Mm -hmm. uh, after 18 months or so, you, you once you, you know, get settled in the project and, you know, you learn mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. you can change into another project. You can't uh, work mm -hmm. in the same project yeah. and, you know, in a different location. If you want, you can change your uh, project. Got it. So coming to this uh, training, uh, in the initial stage of, you know, uh, Fresher will be joining company. Like, how was it actually? Like, is it on, uh, you know, online training or is it offline training? How was it? So as I joined in uh, COVID, it was mm -hmm. completely online for me. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, my seniors, super seniors, was had offline trainings. Mm -hmm. For us, how it happened was... Um, we had 10 days of induction, Okay. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, explaining us about how the company works, how people work, okay. what is the systematic approach the company follows. Mm -hmm. And um, there are separate, you know, there is separate department for this mm -hmm. uh, learning yeah. and knowledge. Mm -hmm. They helped us through the initial stages of it. Okay. And at the end of the induction, maybe two or three, three when your induction is, you know, ending in two mm -hmm. or three days. Mm -hmm. Uh, you will be put into domains. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that domain allocation is completely random. Random, okay. Even if you're from CAC, you will, you can be put into testing, like I am. Okay. <laughs> Understood. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Just, just a curious uh, question I'd be like, you know, you mentioned that the end, in the mainly, uh, they will be allocating to a specific domain. Like, how uh, the partition happens? Is it uh, based upon the performance during the assessment or is it uh, random based upon the requirement? Like, how was it? Any idea? No, it actually happens before the assessment. No assessment will be hap happening in the first 10 days of induction. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just interacting sessions with... Uh, multiple number of people, people from different domains, people mm -hmm. from different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then at the end of the induction, we uh, randomly put into domains according to the batches that are joined. Okay. Like for example, I joined in uh, Feb 21, mm -hmm. Feb 2021. 
and in that month whoever have joined they are in the same batch okay so okay. 10 people from that batch will be put into testing 10 people from uh, into uh, uh, bidm yep. 10 mm-hmm. people into automation testing mm-hmm. 10 people into performance testing you know something mm-hmm. like that got it so coming to this offer letter so like what is the expected time uh, you know what is the uh, procedure to get offer letter like how much time it took uh, to get uh, offer letter any talk on that for me it took quite a lot of time because uh, mm-hmm. i had face to face interview mm-hmm. when i was mm-hmm. in my fourth year that is 2019 okay. mm-hmm. but then uh, covid happened <laughs> yeah. as for everyone yeah. yep. and i got an off uh, i got a call for confirmation in uh, jan 21 okay mm-hmm. after i confirmed that you know i am going to join they sent me the offer letter and i accepted it so it almost took one more than a year oh, but okay. usually uh, now it it usually takes in between 2 uh, 3 to 6 months Three to six months, and yeah, guys. Additional yeah. to Abhi's point, I would like to add that uh, the updates you can get the updates based upon batch wise, guys. Okay, so once you are done with the verification, background verification, then only uh, the further updates will take. And we cannot give a specific time period because uh, again, I said it totally depends upon batch wise. So that was a small point for my end. And uh, coming to working hours, correct. Uh, I would like to add yeah. add on this one. Go on. Go on. So uh, see, once you are selected in IBM, mm-hmm. IBM doesn't back out. Yeah. I mean, I am hearing mm-hmm. a lot of companies that are backing out yeah. in recent times, mm-hmm. especially uh, keeping recession in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, but IBM doesn't back out. You mm-hmm. you just have to patiently wait. That's all. Agreed. Completely agree with you, Abi. And uh, thanks for mentioning that uh, point. Yeah. And uh, coming to working hour, any talk on that? Hmm. Yes. Uh, it it completely depends on where you are working from, mm-hmm. like where your client is from, where your clients mm-hmm. and uh, your project is from mine is from the us okay mm-hmm. so uh, and it doesn't mean that i work in the us shift mm-hmm. but i start my work at 10 okay mm-hmm. but since it is the us clients i have to work till late night all right no i do my work on, in offshore time mm-hmm. their offshore time and then uh, they come back and you know they ask for some requirements and i have to fulfill their requirements so it it gets quite late All right. It's basically, you know, if looking into the overview, totally depends upon what kind of projects you are de- uh, dealing with. The Correct. client. Exactly. Client. Yeah. All right. So coming to working mode, Abhi, like, was it, you know, on, you know, like work from home? Is it work from office or is it hybrid? How was it currently? Uh, I worked from home for mm-hmm. uh for almost one and a half year. Okay. Now it's all hybrid. Now okay. um, you we have to go to office three times a week. Okay. Until uh, like three months ago, it was you know come at least once or twice a week, and then mm-hmm. you know at least show your face and go okay. because okay. a lot of people joined COVID yep. and nobody yeah. met nobody. It was a lot of confusion. Mm-hmm. But now you know you have to go sit in the office. They are not logging hours. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You just have to go swipe your card, and then you can sit for one or two hours and come back. Or if you want to sit the whole day, sit the whole day and come back. Got it. But you have to go twice a week. good and uh, coming to transport facility like uh, how was it uh, is it uh, two way route or is it one way like how was it uh transport facility i heard from my seniors and all that uh, they used to be cabs for ladies mm-hmm. who mm-hmm. had whose who worked the second shift or the third shift okay but now as of now there's no uh, ca- transport facility so... you have to use your own vehicle all right uh, so any talk on uh, reimbursement yeah maybe they will resume it in some in some months okay for mm-hmm. now it's not coming to workload and work pressure how was it how did you feel about that see yeah it's it again depends on the clients where you're working from for mm-hmm. me it's okay. you know the us clients so i have to start at 10 mm-hmm. if the work is still there you know clients have some requirements to be fulfilled mm-hmm. you have to i work till uh, 10 11 or so Okay. I mean, I stop at eleven, but you know there are my colleagues that work till late. Alright. So yeah, uh, and during the peak deployment uh, mm-hmm. days, mm-hmm. the work pressure is on. You have to bear it. There's no other choice. Got but it. you know, when yeah. you have supportive colleagues, uh, it gets easy. Okay. So coming to the management, uh, like how was the support uh, you're getting from the management? Uh, you know, speaking. Uh, to the freshers like uh, how is the support from the manage- management to the upcoming freshers any view on that okay uh, yeah uh, so especially what i noticed in ibm is it is very systematic mm-hmm. 
and joining as a fresher in a systematic uh, format is very important because you have no idea how corporate works okay. yeah and uh, you know when you join in a systematic manner you understand okay this is the thing that is going on or this is what it is going mm-hmm. to be mm-hmm. so management is great and uh, you know when you join as a fresher in an account in a project mm-hmm. people will help you a lot because okay. they've also been Some through the same thing yeah. they've okay. also started you know in the same thing okay so yeah uh, this is another uh, query which i got from the audience like coming to the leave and holidays uh, like how is the policy at ibm like paternity holidays or any emergency holidays how is it uh, at the ibm can you talk on that okay uh, the vacation days are usually 22 days mm mm-hmm. and uh, there's no count of sick leaves as of now okay. you know of course mm-hmm. everybody gets sick uh, once in a while mm-hmm. and uh, there's no you know uh, this actual count that you can take only this count you can take the sick leaves you can okay. take as many as you want but it's if you're taking for quite a long uh, mm-hmm. for a week or so you have to submit the documents coming to the maternity leave it's mm-hmm. six months like every other company yeah. it's okay. six months for drug maternity got it so yeah i guess uh, we have covered everything the important questions uh, which uh, was a request from the audience actually so there are some like two to three questions are pending in my mind like what are the welcome sure. kit you got from the company the goodies any talk on that oh, goodies uh, so basically i just got a, a box mm-hmm. a thermocol box <laughs> with laptop in it i did not get any welcome kit okay but my juniors uh, like uh, the people join next batch or next year mm-hmm. they've got pen bag okay. laptop all the all the merch all okay. the merch they got all the merch got it so yeah another question abhi like uh, is ibm having the higher or uh, higher studies opportunity like if a person want to pursue mtech uh, is such kind of opportunity given for ibm any talk on that yes i heard there is but you know i haven't seen anybody going uh, mm-hmm. to higher studies with the company okay. but you can be on a sabbatical leave mm-hmm. and then go to higher studies and come back or right. it depends on you so last uh, we like uh, coming to this notice period uh, any talk on notice period like how much time how much the period uh, is given for the notice period any talk on that mm-hmm. okay uh, so usually uh, notice period is 90 days mm-hmm. but you know uh, so people who are going to higher studies they do not have uh, certain certainty mm-hmm. in their uh, a broad plan because you need to get visa first and then you have to plan and you mm-hmm. have to travel within 30 days of getting your visa okay 30 days so uh, when that is there uh, you are not certain of your your travel plan so then probably you can speak to your managers or you mm-hmm. know higher uh, level managers and then mm-hmm. you, you can explain them that you know this is my condition yep. mm-hmm. i want to be released soon okay. and okay. Uh, you know you if you have a good reason they'll consider got it So yeah, Abhi, we have covered everything. Last but not the least, any suggestion to our audience, Abhi? Okay. Um, people who are joining as a freshers, mm-hmm. I would suggest be patient mm-hmm. for getting into IBM because it takes time. Take a lot of time. Because yeah. they come in batches and you know they take time to uh mm-hmm. take people in. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then keep refreshing your skills. Yep. Agree. Okay. once you are done with your studies don't just put them aside mm-hmm. keep refreshing your skills whether it be aptitude whether it be technical skills whatever it be just keep refreshing them and that's uh, all i completely agree with you abhi and uh, yeah that's it abhi i guess we covered everything and i really appreciate you for yeah. taking time and joining us and sorry to you know destroy your weekend disturb your weekend no it's fine it's okay so yeah guys uh, this is our best help the yeah guys uh, this is our best talk and if you're not a subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon and subscribe and if you have any kind of queries make use of you to comment section and we also have a you know telegram community group called we grow link has been put in the description just join and make use of our community and i'll be thanks once again for joining us today thank you thank you and, and yeah guys see you in the next video take care bye